tea and a chocolate on a Sunday afternoon, eh? It's Friday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello my loves and welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday and the sun is actually shining. There's blue skies. Unfortunately it's not coming up on the camera but I can see blue skies which you guys will not have any idea how nice it is to see because unless you live in Wales it has rained non-stop all week which has not been fun. Um, I'm just off because it's actually dry. I'm just off to the post office which is one of my tasks I do almost every week either with brand parcels or um just so many things vintage parcels mostly um you guys have been buying a lot of my stuff over vintage there's still quite a bit on there um so I will be having a big sale soon so make sure you're following my vintage I'll leave the link down below I basically put anything up there that is brand new with tags over half price stuff that's been worn maybe once stuff that's brand new without tags so much like good stuff on there. I don't put any shit on there. So if you want a bargain, make sure you're following on Vinted, which is such a weird thing to say, but I actually, I love the fact that you guys get a bargain and it's going to someone who really wants it rather than just like sitting in my cupboard collecting dust. So yeah, I'm off to the post office. Um, I've been for brunch this morning. I've had a call with my manager and this afternoon I'm editing last week's YouTube video. Um, so you'll be watching the one that you will have already watched last week if you haven't already seen it. Um, and then I'm going to the gym at six. So that is my Friday. Quite busy as well, a few emails to do and just wanted to sort some bits around the house which I've kind of done. I've also got some new little bits in the lounge that I want to share with you. I know we're moving soon, but these are like things I can use in our new house, I'm hoping. It's not Christmas yet, but are these not the cutest? little stockings i couldn't leave them there i literally couldn't they're so sweet and they've got a little bobble on they're like three pound or something five pound each from b&m i also picked up this which i think is really lovely the vase was eight pound and the sort of grass to go in it was six i think but it's gonna look really nice in our future home and i've also got a parcel this morning from River Island so I'm going to unpack that with you guys now. So this literally just arrived two minutes ago. Also these slippers arrived this week which if you're looking for a new pair of slippers, oh my god they're so cozy, it's so comfy. When they arrived I thought they were going to be too narrow for my feet but they've like really given because they're such a good material. I also think they'd be a lovely present as well. I think I have got a discount code for them so if anyone wants them I will leave the discount code below if I haven't just put it put a comment down below asking for it and I'll give you it and they do also come in like a nice tan you know, like a kind of color they come in loads of colors so yeah they're just a nice nice little find um let's unbox this press office which I visited in last week's vlog so you can pop and watch that which was quite cool quite cool to see and we have got, ooh, hurriedly exploring with Britain's wild places. Well, that's very nice. But it's a bit random. And I went to coat. Let's see, it's going to look really nice actually what I got on today because I got an all grey outfit on. Oh, hang on, there is a thing explaining. I thought there might be. Introducing the cosy collection from River Island. Here for all your cosy plans from chilly winter walks to Sundays on the sofa. We hope you love your new afterwear piece. Ah, oh, that's nice. From the River Island team. Oh, look at this. Oh no, I got the right size. This is good. Okay, I'm going to have to go and show you this in the mirror, but oh, what a nice colour. Ooh, I love it. I love anything that you can wear in the winter that isn't black. <laughs> because as much as I love an all black outfit, how nice is it to add some colour? And this, oh, it's, it literally fits perfect. And I've got a really big, chunky knit on underneath today. I've also got the world's best jeans on from River Island. Rapid River Island today. Oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. The fit is perfect. I feel like River Island have really started to nail their fits. Um, this is amazing. Absolutely love it. I'm really glad I went for this one. I was torn between this one and the exact same shape, coat and style, but in like a black and brown leopard print, which I think would have been gorgeous, but this is just nice, a little bit different. It's actually quite warm as well. 
So I'll leave that link down below for you guys. But how cute. They do come in lots of different colours too. So thanks for Ireland. How cute. And then also this arrived this morning, which Reese thinks is a fad. But I have high hopes and high expectations for because I've seen a skin blogger that I follow and she's actually like accredited. She has the, the skills. She's not just like telling you about skin. She actually knows his shit. And she thinks this is excellent. Therefore, I think this is excellent. All right, Reese. <laughs> His PJs. I'm not in PJs, you're in jeans. <laughs> I thought you had your blue PJs on. <laughs> so yeah, I'll try this out and let you know. It's LED light therapy mask. And I basically, I'll be honest, I do have Botox in my forehead and it's something I don't want to have forever. I'm kind of having it at the minute until I find something that replaces it that isn't a toxin that I have to put in my body basically. So hoping this might be something like that. So I'm on a little bit of a journey to find something that isn't Botox, but gives me a wrinkle free forehead. Also with this, it has actually got red light and infrared light, which I think is meant to help people who have sad disorder, which is seasonal, seasonal affective disorder, which I am actually not that sad this year, but I normally am, aren't I? Yeah. Like no, maybe, I don't know, normally when it rains, like I do actually get really sad. So maybe this will help with this. And it's like, I think you just use it like 10 minutes a day. I think it'd be really good to add into like an evening skincare routine where I can just lie down on the sofa, have a peppermint tea, put some meditation on and wind down before bed because I need to start doing that because my brain is so active and so busy and it's not fun because I've not been sleeping all this week. So maybe we'll start that tonight and see how we get on. So I will check back in about that in next week or next month's vlog and let you know how I got on. But now, soup and the post office. Four for, four for 125 in Tesco. <laughs> Bargain. Have these days on the road, but actually, really good. Cup of tea and a chocolate on a Sunday afternoon, eh? It's Friday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's all right. Have a little look what's in this caramel and parcel. It's been a good delivery week. <laughs> okay. Let's have a little look. Last night, I'll talk about I am. Um, to Tesco and I filmed a load of videos for TikTok because they got amazing like cozy stuff at the minute and there's a pair of PJs that I bought me and Ruth so I'll have to share with you at some point. I'm sure we'll be wearing them later on in this vlog because they're the cutest and coziest things ever but it made me just think of like cozy season how much I love it and like all these teddy berries and jacket things but this is better than I ever imagined. This is obviously not from Tesco it's from Karen Miller but oh my god I think I just found my new favourite cardigan. This is way, you know sometimes when think you see things on the website, you're like, it's either gonna be lush or it's gonna come and it's gonna be really shit. You're like, why did I order that? This is one of those things that's come and exceeded my expectations. It feels like a fluffy, warm blanket. Come and feel this. That's it, it looks lush. Oh my God, this literally feels like the PJs I bought was last night. That is stunning, yeah. Can't wait to sell that. I think that'll be really nice like, on Christmas day with some really nice off-white trousers. Oh yeah. Oh my god, they're gorgeous. So these are actually the same as the ones I've got in caramel. <laughs> Camel. That's, that's the word I was looking for. Camel. Can't wait to try that on. I did also get a little bodysuit to go with it, which is here. So I thought it would look oh no. Okay, it's a very fluffy cardigan. Um I could think it would look nice undone. It's something like this underneath. So that's quite cute actually. Just like a nice sort of basic. I'm lacking a few little basics like that. Ooh, I know what this is. An essential black knitted dress. So I got rid of my one from last year, it was from River Island. It just got a bit tatty. And I think I'd worn it when we still had Gracie, our little cat, and she'd like pulled bits of the knitwear and it just looked a bit scruffy. So I thought, right, I'm gonna get a new one. Oh, this is, I know, Bobby. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's got lovely sleeves. I love it because it's Plain and it's classic. This is why I think I'm falling in love with Karen Millen. Is everything is like classic and timeless and elegant and gorgeous, but they have like little extra details that just make it like a little bit more fabulous rather than just being like a boring top. 
like this for example they've just got like a really cute little sleeve little button and a nice little frill like that's just oh i hope it's a good length on me it does actually look quite a nice length a petite little unboxing I don't know what made me buy Cadbury's rather than Galaxy. I'm regretting it a little bit. Oh, I don't want to go with. So these are little cold sling back heels. Sling backs are just ever out of a minute. And I'm loving them because I think they're really classy, really easy to wear, and the heels aren't too high on them. I also am obsessed with pointy toe, so anything pointy toe, I'm sold. I really love them. But I actually picked them up specifically to go with a blazer dress. Also comes with a really nice dust bag that you can keep them in, which I really love. I love little details like that. I think when brands make a little bit of effort like that, it makes them stand out from the rest, you know? I'm not actually sure if I'm gonna go with this. The tone is like, oh yeah, nice. So because Christmas season's coming up, but I have a few things coming up in London and other events actually, I've got one in Mercer Tinville next week, which I shall take you along with me too. Uh, the Clog Eye Opening Store. Clog Eye Opening in Merthyr Tidville, which is <laughs> mad. I don't know if I've ever been to Merthyr Tidville, have you? Have you ever been to Merthyr Tidville? Have I? Yeah. No. Have I? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, me and Sal are going to go up there, have a look at their new store. We'll take you around part of the vlog and um, have a look at the new bits that they have in. So, events like that, such as that. I thought something quite smart like this, or even for like maybe a girls' night out, girls' drinks, you know, sometimes like last minute impromptu, you just want something nice to wear that's classy but comfy and warm because at this time of the year. I don't like being cold. I picked up this blazer dress. They did also have it in black, and I was really torn between the two. I picked it up in a 12, but I'm really hoping it fits all right because sometimes with caramel and stuff, I am more of a 14. Oh, another box of shoes. Oh my god. So, as I think I mentioned, I think it's either in the last week's, last, the last vlog, the red trend is like everywhere. And I'm not like someone who wears a lot of colour clothing wise, but I think if you want to be involved in the red trend, then you can go for things like handbags or shoes or like lippy. But oh my God, these are so cool. These are so cool. These are like my favourite shoes I've ever owned. I absolutely love them. They're a bit extra. They look like really mango vibes they're absolutely <laughs> stunning really nice heel height again sling back and i actually didn't realize they're satin but i love them even more now and i feel like these are going to be perfect to just add that little bit of like christmas or you know that kind of vibe to any outfit you could go like an all black outfit just wear like little red heels and a red bag sometimes my feet are change size how can I sometimes be a seven and sometimes be an eight and sometimes be a wife and sometimes not? And it's confusing, isn't it? The world of women's clothing. Oh, what is this? Did not realise I'd ordered something with this back. Okay. Interesting. I thought I'd ordered some leather trousers. However, what I have ordered is leather trousers at the front and a strange different back. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I remember what these are. Okay, so these are more like a skinny leather trouser and they've got a split on the um, inside of the foot. So it goes out and look, these look really good with pointy boots, pointy heels. And again, I thought would be nice dressed up for like evening looks. On the festive front, on the festive mood, it's got a red jumper. I know I said don't wear much red, but you know, it is Christmas after all. And I did really like this because I thought it was a nice tone of red, I like the dark deep red. Um, and I did like the gold button detail as well. And it's got really cute, soft sleeves. And this feels really, really nice material. It's our Karen Millen unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> and I'm gonna have a cup of tea now and crack on with some editing. Now I know it's not Christmas yet, but I just wanted to try the Christmas jumper on. And I do actually really like it. I wouldn't wear it for great, but no. If it's really nice and it's really soft and cozy. And I also just wanted to pop on, I this was high enough, but it's not, to share um, if you guys are into your training and your wellness and your health, if you haven't heard of a brand called Free Souls, 
where have you been this is like a women run women owned for women brand i love it and i love that about it more than anything but it's actually designed for like our hormones for everything we need um so something i take daily preferably in the morning but i am going to take it now at lunchtime because i haven't taken it yet today and i'd rather take it now than not take it is i call it the morning greens but it's actually called free soul greens and it's 21 greens basically if you're someone who maybe doesn't have time to eat immaculately all the time because i mean who does it's not realistic this is a way to know you're getting your goodness in every single day also if you struggle with digestion bloating ibs um constipation slow bowel movement like everything to do with that area the stomach and lower this is the gold dust you need and they do have i'm hoping this video will be up at the same time at the right time but it might be a little bit later but if it's not been black friday they have great black friday sales on so and you can use a discount code that i have as well which i'll pop on the screen so this has ashwagandha spinach kale broccoli alfalfa spirulina chlorella maca barley grass wheatgrass flaxseed fennel seed lumica moringa leaf green tea apple fiber apple pineapple green kiwi gold kiwi and red beetroot and kiwis are the thing that help all of that get moving and it's honestly like no preservatives no no sweeteners no no just no shit and it doesn't actually taste like shit either but you have to get the mango flavor if you get the regular greens which i've got in a pot up there hold your nose or blend it with a smoothie talking about smoothies if you train a lot and don't get enough protein in this is literally made for women for all the things that we need um, so it's got things like magnesium, iron, calcium, vitamins in, and maca powder, which is like a superfood, um, as well as ginseng and guarana. Um, and it's pea protein, so it's vegan. My favourite flavour is the vanilla, which they kindly have just restocked me with. Um, but I was purchasing these 100% for, I'd say six months with all my own money before I decided to become a brand ambassador for them because... I genuinely just love them and I buy them every month anyway. So it made sense for me to share them with you guys, get you a better discount and whatnot. So I'll leave the links to all of it down below. I have tried the chocolate one, but I'm not the biggest chocolate protein powder fan. Um, so yeah, for that one, I, I don't really know, but the vanilla for me is the one. I love it in like smoothies. I love it with my porridge. Um, I like it just mixed with some yogurt. So yeah, a really easy way to get your protein in, but to help find you guys, find a bargain and Thank goodness it's gonna make you feel better give you more energy and make you feel good enough of my spiel because they're not paying me <laughs> but they're not paying me at all i just generally love the stuff and think you guys need to try it in your life so check it out down below if you are running low on your protein powder or have been thinking about greens <laughs> So I bought me and Reese some cozy fluffies from Tesco. They're so cozy. We've worn them every day since we got them. <laughs> so I got a brown one and, and it's just cozy and comfy. And then I also got these which are like Bambi and they're so cute. But they were meant to come in a set but someone had stolen all the wrong sizes. So there was only these left. So the nice lady gave me them for £8. So I was over the moon and I got Reese just black ones. But they're super fluffy. Like this, super soft. Let me show you. Look at these. Oh, lovely. So it's Sunday morning. Reese is just prepping some food again. I feel like this is like a, what's the word? Deja vu, because you were prepping food last week on Sunday morning. He's not always cooking. This is a very, what's the word? Untrue observation of Reese because he's not always cooking. <laughs> Um, and I'm just about to make a breakfast and I thought I'd share with you because if it's nice it's going to be like the perfect little winter warmer so it'll be lovely it's got plums blackberries oats apparently it's like a healthy protein crumble so let's make it So I thought I'd actually talk you through how to make the crum crumble because I've made it three times since this video and it is really, really amazing. So for one person, you need one plum and a handful of fruit of your choice. I used blueberries in this one, but um, 
yeah, any fruit would do, frozen or fresh, absolutely fine. Chop it all up and pop your fruit into a bowl with a sprinkling of some sweet cinnamon. And that's your base done, super easy. And then in a separate bowl, you need one tablespoon of protein powder. I did use a scoop, but the recipe says one tablespoon. Uh, two tablespoons of oats one tablespoon of your favorite nut butter and one tablespoon of honey or maple syrup now i'd actually recommend maple syrup because the honey makes it quite chewy and it's quite hard to you know eat it makes your jaw ache <laughs> but if you prefer honey then by all means do that or if you only have honey it will still taste absolutely great you literally just mix them together and put that on top and then it's so easy you bake in the oven for 30 minutes on 150 and that is it. And then serve with a big scoop of some nice Greek yogurt. And honestly, guys, you will be doing this on repeat. So while I'm waiting for my breakfast to cook, I'm gonna pop on my LED face mask. How beautiful do I look? <laughs> and I'll see you in 10 minutes. Here is the finished result of the protein crumble. And here mm -hmm. is the first impression. Nice. Come here, face this face is too dark. Good. Out of ten. Nine. Oh, that's strong. Cool. Let's try. Good morning, my loves. It's Monday. I was just in the shower and I was thinking about my favourite like skincare products. <laughs> it sounds really random, but I feel like some people have like their holy grails, don't they? And they're like, these are the things I use, like no matter what, I love them, I won't change from them unless something way better comes along. And for ages I was like, I don't really have that, but I do actually have that now. So I feel like I want to share with you what they are. I've been using all of them for probably about a year, bar one or two new things. Um, because it is always nice to try and incorporate new things and see what works for you at different times, I think, and stuff like that. So... Yeah, I just thought I'd pop on and share them with you. So starting off with, I'm gonna start off with the basics. So like moisturizer. I feel like my skin, I do get quite a lot of compliments on my skin. It is quite good. Like it just is, I'm lucky. I'm very lucky, but I do also put it down to the fact that like my diet's fairly good and I do drink a lot of water. But my second thing that I 100% believe why my skin is so clear is I'm really consistent with my skincare routine and my magic creams. I honestly won't ever change from them like I will be shocked if anything comes along that I find better than these two things because day and night I there's like there's no comparison to any creams I've tried I've tried so many I want to say all of the creams out there <laughs> and there's nothing better than these two luckily for me and for you I do actually have a Charlotte Tilbury discount code which is I think 20% off might be 15 but it definitely helps and one other thing is when you buy the creams, if you keep the pot, you can actually remove the plastic bit. This one's nearly run out now. So you can actually just buy a refill tub like that rather than rebuying the glass. And that saves you £10 every time. So I could save literally like £20 by buying the refills for these two because now I've got the tubs. I don't need to keep rebuying them. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and a nice little saving tip. I always find at this time of year, I don't like being pasty, but I also find like fake tans when my skin is dry, not the, the best. Like my skin doesn't love them, it goes patchy. I also find like it's such a stark difference between like my natural color and like when I've got a tan that sometimes if it's in between or if you're not consistent with it, it's such a difference that I just hate it. So another thing I've really been loving is the Tan Lux. Um, this is the Illuminating Soft Tan Face Drops. So you actually put this with your moisturiser um, and you put it, if you, I think it's like between, it says between one to 12 drops. I normally go about six to eight in the middle. If you want to be really brown, obviously go 12. Um, and if you're a bit cautious, go like a few to start and then build up. Um, but I normally use those every other night and it keeps just, it keeps like a healthy kind of glow. Like I don't look orange I don't look fake but it's a nice healthy glow and equally I will go and get um there's actually a gradual body moisturizer from them which I also love because it's it's like a subtle it's just like a subtle you look like you have more olive skin tone rather than 
you look like your fake tanned. And I don't know what it is, just as I'm getting older, I just feel like natural is better. And yeah, I'm really enjoying that. So they're the two new products I've been using, the Tan Lux um, ones. I don't think I do have a discount code for them, but I will see what I can do. Um, a new one that I've been trying of recent, being in my 30s, I am just like, not conscious, but like, I do have a little bit of like double chin on the side and I do have like quite a lot of necklines, like I work facing down and something I don't love part of the aging process is like the turkey neck and like, you know, I'm all for aging, I'm not all for aging naturally, that's a lie, <laughs> I'm all for embracing if that's what you're happy with. But for me, I just don't want that. So I've started with this beauty pie. It's called Uber Youth. Um, neck and lift, neck and chest super lift spray. But it's actually really good for repairing damage. So like this area gets very sun damaged because it's always out. Um, and it's meant to help repeal, re, re heal and repair sun damaged skin so that is what causes the aging process is the lack of collagen and our skin aging um and sorry and the sun which has caused damage to the skin so this actually helps to repair it so i'm only on like the first or second week of using it i'm not seeing any drastic you know results yet as i wouldn't expect to because as with all of these things and all of the products i use and everything in life everything is about consistency so if you're not consistent it's not gonna help like you can't just use shots every magic cream one day and be like i'm a glowing princess it doesn't, doesn't happen but it happens with like using it every single morning and every single night um and then finally on that topic shot tilbury um this is a newer product for me i was using the ren skincare eye cream which is meant to be amazing it wasn't for me so i was like do you know what i love shot tilbury so much i'm gonna buy this and I'm gonna I'm gonna keep using this because I'm finding like I am 32 and I don't really have that many crow's lines or crow's feet like I am quite a smiley person I smile quite a lot I'm quite happy so when I do obviously I've got them when I smile but I want that that's fine that's normal it's natural just don't want them to still be there when I'm not smiling so yeah this is amazing it's got caffeine in as well so it's really helps for like puffy eyes which I do normally get in the mornings so that is another firm favourite and you can use my discount on that one as well. So yeah, anyway, just thought I'd pop on and share them with you as it was Monday morning and I'm using them and it is just part of my routine. Another thing I've been trying to be good with as well is hair oil and the kerosene one. It smells incredible. I'm not sure how incredible it actually is for my hair, but I really love it. Um, and yeah, I think, and then I just put a little spritz of this on. And then we are good to go for the day. I'm going all comfy today, super chilled, and I just feel nice and fresh. Always hair up on a Monday, no makeup on a Monday. I just, yeah, I just, just feel good and I feel happy. And I'm going to get my nails done this week as well. I'm quite excited for that. I'm in two minds whether to get um, a French or I had this really nice like deep red before. This is like more like a chocolate brown. Um, but I'm thinking of like, either going back to the deep red or to go for a French, or like a black French tip, I don't know. So I'll let you know what I do later on in the week, And um, but for now I'm gonna go and get on with my day. See you in a bit. So change of plans. Um, Karis has just texted me, she has got some time today, so we're gonna go out and do a shoot. I've gotta shoot this Mass Spencer's campaign, so I'm really happy about that, otherwise Reese would have to have shot it for me tomorrow. Um, so this is the look actually. It's a really cozy, oversized knit. I've paired it with the bag of absolute dreams. This also comes in black, but I've never seen a more beautiful bag in my life that is under £50 and looks more designer than this, to be honest. I just think it's perfection. Um, yeah, I've gone for these wide leg trousers. Unfortunately, did only have a 14 left on this website. So I've luckily, they've got like a little pull, pull in bit at the back. So I've pulled them right in. Um, but they are only a little bit big on the leg, um, on the waist, I actually think on the leg they fit really nice. And then I've got a Ugg style boot on, which is more of, um, just more of to bring the colours together. So I've just brought the tan in via the belt and the bag and the shoes. Um, 
I think actually a really nice chunky oversized scarf would have looked really good with this look and I'm a little bit annoyed I didn't pick the one I saw up. I should have just bought it, you know when you're like I should have just bought it but I didn't and there we are. Um, and then I've got two other looks I'm going to shoot today, so I'm going to do this one. I'm thinking this one with either jeans or black wide leg trousers and my Mary Jeans and then I think, I'm not sure I'm going to style this one yet, I'm not quite decided but I'm thinking maybe wide leg trousers and some trainers um, and that's just the looks we'll do today. So I've just parked, gonna get ready to shoot now. I've got a very small bag today of stuff with me and just two outfits behind and what I'm wearing. Karis has just arrived and very kindly brought me a hot chocolate, um, but she's just trying to find a parking space. So um, yeah, we're gonna get on with our shoot. Unfortunately, it did just rain. So I am praying that doesn't happen again. The sun has come back out, but now the floor is wet and I've got white trousers on. So I'm like, oh, I don't want them to get dirty especially because I need to do this make it look good. So anyway, we're going to get on with shooting and um, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit and enjoy my hot chocolate. I love hot chocolate season so much. So I've just got back in from shooting and it's a really nice afternoon. Now I'm just tidying up the house before I sit down to do some editing, finish off some emails and that'll be it for my Monday. I'm going to cook dinner. Good morning my loves, it is Wednesday, is it? Yeah, I feel like I didn't film yesterday and my hair is like this, you have to excuse it because I've been to the gym. Um, did I film yesterday? No, I sat at my computer for like 12 hours so that would have been really boring. Um, but that was the reality of my day yesterday, did I do anything nice? I feel like I did but I can't remember. Oh I know what I did, I went, um, oh I think I did mention it, I went to... Um, one of my favourite coffee shops to co-work with two of my friends from the gym. So that was really nice. And um, I've been for a sweaty workout this morning. Then I came back to my morning post. I've just made myself a very nice porridge. Last night I made some soup, which I cannot wait to have for lunch. Um, and I just cooked some salmon to have with it because I'm a bit conscious that yesterday I probably had about zero grams of protein. So I've put some protein powder in here and I've also got salmon now for my lunch. And then tonight, me and my mum are going to a clog eye um store opening so wales never really has any events so it's really exciting that they're actually doing something quite cool unfortunately it is an hour and a bit away from here it's not actually gonna be here i think the only clog i store near me is in cardiff which is also an hour away but this is an hour slightly more into like the valleys <laughs> if you've ever seen the tv show um so yeah we're gonna pop up there tonight i'll take you with me show you some of the bits in store and show you the new store and I'm actually going to give my mum the voucher, they've given us a voucher which is really nice just to say thank you for coming, um, to buy her Christmas present because as we move into a house, hopefully we'll have a date for that moving date by the way, by the end of the week, fingers crossed, um, we might have a date by the end of the week, yes we need to now finish a house so I'm trying to save every penny I can for Christmas so I'm doing very smart, um, gifting this year <laughs> so Sal's gonna have a nice little voucher to buy herself what she fancies in Clon Guy which is you know a lovely gift so yeah so I'm looking forward to that we might pop to like a big home store apparently there's a massive like home store up there that sells like every single thing under the sun in like a big warehouse so we were like let's pop there beforehand if we've got time depending on how long it takes to get there um and yeah I'll take you along with me later I'm gonna film one campaign today and I've got to get the video edited from last week. I have been procrastinating because I have decided to upgrade, which is very nice, to Final Cut Pro, but oh my God, it's so confusing. If anyone does this kind of job, editing is not my favorite or my strength really, but it's just one of those things when you've learned it once, you've learned it and it'll be all gravy and hopefully you guys will appreciate the skill in editing. <laughs> So anyway, I'm gonna have my breakfast and I will see you guys in a bit.
loves, it is Thursday and last night you would have seen me, my mum went to the new Clogger open store, which was lovely. We did pick up some little goodies, which I will actually show you. I just have these bags as well. So if you haven't heard of the brand before, it's a Welsh brand and it's Welsh gold and they incorporate little bits of Welsh gold, all full Welsh gold in all of the pieces. And one thing I didn't know that they did, which I thought was really lovely, was they actually do like wedding bands and engagement rings and watches. I didn't know they did any of them. So that was cool, a little surprise for me, alongside their jewellery pieces. So I started my Christmas shopping and I picked these up for my mother-in-law. <laughs> so they've just got the tiny little bit of wash gold in the centre and their beautiful little heart earrings. And I picked these ones up for my mum, who did actually come with me and choose them herself, but that's the kind of family we are. We like something, we like it, we like to choose it ourselves, don't we? A bit for series says. Yeah. Um, so we've got these really cute little um, flowers for my mum. And again, they're silver with the Welsh gold inside the centre. But they had so many lovely ones to choose from, and it was such a nice evening just to pop in and have a little look at everything sometimes shopping online can be not that easy so it's nice to go into store and pick like special little gifts like that uh, and then this morning i popped to my favorite coffee shop with my dad and also took back loads of returns which was it's not my favorite thing to do but it's done because i accidentally ordered everything i ordered on asos twice so i had like or gigantic boxes of trainers to send back because I was just trying to find one new pair of gym trainers and I ended up going for the same ones that I already had but in a different colorway so they're the New Balance 530 um, and this little box from Beauty Pie just arrived so I thought I would unbox it with you and I'm actually going to do a full on um, my winter skincare video on here and I'm going to incorporate some of these products from Booty Pay. It's, if you've not heard of it, it's, re it's a really, really cool concept. So you pay like a membership fee and you get a humongous discount on all of their products. Reese's sister is absolutely obsessed with them. And I just feel like it's a brand I probably will become obsessed with too. So I'm quite excited to try them and sort of do that video for you. And yeah, that's what these pieces are for. So I already just love the branding. I'm getting so into branding. I just love it when brands make an effort. And like, this is gorgeous. So we have inside, oh, everything's all wrapped as well. It's like Christmas. We have, so I've been trying the next spray of theirs just to get rid of like lines and also reverse aging and um, skin damage. Um, and I've also picked up this, which I've seen lots of people raving about. So it's a super healthy skin deluxe body cream. So I feel like at this time of year, we really, really need to look after our skin and our bodies and something like a really nourishing, rich cream to pop on like after your nice cozy bath in the evenings with the candles is perfect. Great one to add onto the Christmas list, but I will link all of these down below as well. Um, then I've got the... I think this was on their best sellers, but I've not tried this one before. So it's called the Japan Fusion Genius Lift Elixir. And I'm pretty sure this is a, like a serum, um, hydrating serum, but also has a lot of really great products in. So what I really like about this is that they actually tell you what each individual product that's in here does. So for example, De I can't even pronounce it, De La Myth, known to help soothe the skin and counteract free radical damage with excellent antioxidant activities. Another one is rich in vitamin C, so it actually tells you what they are. One of them helps with fine lines and wrinkles, rather than just like, this is what's, you know, you don't really know what you're putting on your skin or in your face. Um, and then I think we've got a few more in here. Like I said, I will do a full rundown of the products in a separate video. Um, hair, another thing that we forget about so much and I've been trying to focus a lot more on is the health of my hair. I've been wearing it up a lot recently and putting a lot of oils in it 
and nourishing it and stuff and this is meant to be absolutely amazing so it's seven oil hair alexa super healthy hair that's what we're looking for um another thing that people might forget not even think about this time of year uvb uva screen protector so sun protection for underneath your makeup this is up to SPF 50 as well. And it's also a primer, so it's like a two-in-one. We love that. And finally, oh, this brightening primer. So this as well is one of their best sellers. So I'm really, really excited to try that. And I will, like I said, talk to them all through in a video, a separate video on here uh, next week. So yeah, I'm just gonna carry on now. I've been at the computer, just trying to finalize some really boring bits and I just feel like I've been living up my computer a lot recently, but it is what it is. Sold some more stuff on Vinted as well, so I've got some parcels to pack. I actually don't think that there's anything currently on my Vinted because everything's sold, which is really cool. But if you're not already following over there, I share, sell loads of um, pieces, like brand new with tags for like half the price. So if you're ever looking for a bargain and you're a size 12 to 14, uh, you'll probably find one over there. Evening guys, it's actually it's Sunday evening right now. I just want to pop on and share with you my new nails because I hadn't shared these with you. They are absolute perfection. It's like a really gorgeous deep cherry red. I'm loving them. Also treated myself to some new flowers today, which are very, very pretty. Very much love these. And I did also pick up, I was gonna tell you about the weekend, I'm not I'm just do that first actually before I get carried away. Um so I, I never really film on the weekends so I feel like it's really important to be present and like chill and not be always on especially when you work for yourself it can be like very mentally exhausting very mentally draining um for example it's like half past nine on Sunday night and I'm editing the vlog you're currently watching so it's just a lot and it's like non-stop and I've actually taken Saturday and Sunday lots of parts of them off um but there's always things I'm doing you know so I do think it's important to switch off. So yesterday we went, um, had a really chill day actually, went to Trostra, which is like a shopping centre almost, um, and I picked up uh, this. I actually went bra shopping, but I didn't find anything. It wasn't successful at all, which is a cute little like serving platter with mistletoe on. Um, I picked up a matching, ooh, trying to put it down. one hand is not a matching jug which I think is so beautiful you know like I just can't leave them there I, did, I didn't need them but they're so cute um which I just got displayed in the corner very cutely and I have also got a matching bowl which has got some chocolate in here and it's got like cute around the edges um and I did buy a tub of celebrations that clearly have nearly been eaten all of um, and then we popped up to see Reese's mum and sister, had a cup of tea, a little catch up with them, came back last night, I can't even think what we did last night, don't feel like we did anything really, Friday night I went out with my friends from the gym and we had a very heavy drinking night, so I wasn't feeling very sprightly on Saturday morning, it's not something I do very often but bloody hell they can drink. Um, but the food was lovely and like it was just a lush girly evening that I just really needed. Oh, we had a good pamper last night. My hair, I did a hair mask. Um, yeah, I just gave myself a little refresh, which I definitely needed. I am overdue a tan. I need to do some tanning, but I wanted to try the new Tan Lux Express Mousse. So I was kind of holding off until I could see if I could just order one of them this week, maybe. Um, but now I'm very white. <laughs> And then today, Sunday, we had a really chilled morning in bed. We did work a bit from bed this morning, which I don't love doing, but it is part of our job, and I guess you just have to do it. Um, and then we went over to my mum and dad's for lunch, just stayed over there for a few hours, chilled, come back, and I've just been working, actually, on my laptop since. So it's not been the most off weekend I could have had, but it's better than none, and I really do appreciate that I can work as and when, so that is quite a luxury. Um, as much as no one really wants to work at 9.30 on a Sunday night, I don't need to, I can do it in the week, but I'm hoping if I do it now, it will free up some time in the week anyway. So yes, another thing I did actually want to pop on and mention is I got a new phone case, which I think is quite cute. I don't love this, but I absolutely need them for not getting like repetitive strain in my pinky. Um, but how cute is the actual phone case itself? So cute. Um, 
I think I'm just going to go as well, so I'll pop it down below if I do. Um, and I also got a laptop cover with it as well, which I've put a sticker on because it's a bit plain, a bit boring, but it's okay, it does the job. It protects my laptop, so that's all good. Um, yeah, so I'm actually just editing now, then I'm going to go to sleep, and in the morning I am off to the gym. So we'll start a new week next week, so we'll start a new vlog. And I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see next week's video, anything in particular you want to see, let me know if you want me to do. I have got a Zara haul coming, a manga haul coming, party wear hauls coming, and a winter skincare routine video coming. So I'm really, really excited about those. Um, lots of filming for me this week. And yeah, hopefully you will see them soon. And I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And I will see you in the next one. Any comments or questions, just ask in the comment section below. I'll see you next week.